Hello YouTube, this is Scott Sega Saturn Lad back with another one of my overviews of Neo Geo Pocket Color games. So, as you see before you is Metal Slug 2 or Metal Slug Second Mission. So, this is uh, what you'd say probably one of the more sought after games on the system not necessarily one of the most expensive though it's by far means from cheap you can normally pick it up for around 40 pounds maybe slightly cheaper and obviously if you go loose cart that's significantly cheaper as well but i think as the neo geo pocket is uh wouldn't necessarily say hugely collectible I just think the stock levels were so small when it was out, it doesn't take much for it to seem rare or collectible. But I picked this up years and years ago when the system was relevant, really. I think I actually picked my Neo Geo Pocket Color up just before they recalled all the software because. Basically, when SNK were publishing the system, um, they couldn't really sustain it. So they literally bought all of their old stock. And I remember, because I was employed at Game at the time, so I would have been about 18, 19. And uh, we just had a cardboard box of, uh, um, of games like this. There was no relation to them it's probably about 40 games that we had in stock and you know we had a we had all the systems but they sat there for literally about a year and a half from launch and i think in my time there we sold one which uh you know shows the uh the amount that they sold and obviously the game boy advance was on the horizon anyway and it, it really sort of killed the the system off i think they realized it couldn't uh couldn't sustain it so effectively they bought all of their stock back and um, then republished it or rebranded it for the Asian market not necessarily Japan China Thailand India and you'll often find that um, you might find that um, if you're looking on eBay you'll find a, a like a brand new still still boxed or not it's in one of these um, the per you know the plastic which is uh, all enclosed the the only way to get around to it is is by cutting it open and it'll just be the the carts by themselves but there'll be like six six of them so actually finding the box stuff is is quite tricky apologize for the camera i'll try and keep it steady but um yeah so obviously if you're collecting it's going to be a bit more expensive boxed than uh, the non-boxed but i digress and uh, we'll crack on with the uh, the more uh, prevalent point of the video so obviously it's the Metal Slug second mission so this is clearly the uh, the second one in the series the first one is a very very good game it's one of the best games on the system but this one is I wouldn't say faithful to the original but it's far more like it the first one is more of a platformer Whereas this one is still necessarily a platformer, but it's got a lot more sort of run and gun. But due to the hardware limitations, you know, it's a, the animation, the voices are all present. Really, really good. And it's got the same sort of colour palette as Metal Slug as well. Very sort of dark and grimy. Um, sort of steampunk, as they say. So it's really sort of fantastically well designed. I think that's one thing that really does sort of... Whenever anyone sees the pocket, is the animation... I think people expect it to be like a NES or a, an original Game Boy. It's not. It's uh, it's really, really uh, fluid. So, you know, you get really nice sort of anime or manga style, um, you know, visuals on the front there. So obviously there's these two characters, the girl and the bloke in the, the Metal Slug. And then you've got the, uh, the assortment of enemies around the corner. It's on the side got the classic Metal Slug logo and uh, second mission and on the rear so this is the UK one 
obviously you you'll tend to find if you you're buying from Europe or basically eBay Europe in general you might find that it might be French German Spanish Italian you know the the main languages of Europe really um because they all they all got their own independent sort of regional variation I guess so it doesn't really give a hell of a lot about the game but I think if you were buying this back in the day you would generally know what metal slug is you you generally have to be a bit of a fan I would imagine so we'll give it an open. So that is the uh, the insides. So we'll go through the manual. And because this is the UK one, as I said before, you do often find, move them out of the way, you do often find that various manuals would be in the case uh, due to the, the language variations. So this is all in English, this one. Nice full color. On glossy paper as well so that gives you a sort of that's a better style of visuals there but hopefully at the end of the video as per normal I'll try and get some footage running on the uh, the maimed up Xbox because I then I think if I was to try and capture footage from the actual system itself it doesn't really do it justice So yeah, nice little uh, manual. And then obviously we'll just come to the cartridge. Don't really think it's going to zoom too much. We'll take it out of its case. So that's the, the cart. Obviously you've got the various... Um, you can see the... Um, Obviously, the bigger the, the the sort of bigger enemies from the, the the full Metal Slug game, they've been captured quite well in style. You know, in obviously a much much smaller sort of pixel resolution. So they've they've done really well in terms of that. Um, I don't think it's going to focus too much, but you you sort of get the idea. But yeah. So that's the cartridge, you can't really see it there, but you can, obviously they're tiny, they're smaller than Game Boy cartridges. Slightly bigger than um, Game Boy Advance, but not as, not as long. Right, so I will pause it there and we'll try and get some footage. Alright guys, this is Scott Sega Satellite, back with some gameplay footage of Metal Slug Second Mission. So this is just the intro. I'm going to let this roll for a, a minute or so. So you get some nice big sprites. First of all. I think what surprises me is the quality of the speech. But you'll get an idea. So I think really nice detailed visuals. And obviously, as I said before, limited colour palette, but they make the most of it. I think it's really, really nicely visual this. Very sharp. I 
think if you're a Metal Slug fan and you never played this, you'd be pleasantly surprised just how. Tell me, machine gun. Pineapple. Pineapple. Tell me, machine gun. Grenade gun. So unlike other metal slugs, you can take hits. Not too many. I think this gives you an idea of what potentially a maybe a SNES or Mega Drive Metal Slug would have maybe been like. Because obviously there's no way in hell they would have really been able to imitate the style. So this is more like a, I suppose, a Gunstar Heroes type game, rather than an outright sort of Metal Slug comparison. As you can see, it's quite a uh, platform-based. What's with animation? I know the obvious comparisons, but this does is reminds me of In the Hunt. What then? See, it looks pretty straightforward like this, but it does hit very, very hard. Slug. You can just run them over as well in this.
isn't the easiest game to play with the Xbox controller. But excuses. guys hopefully you've enjoyed this and it uh, has you know given you more insight into the, the pocket and its games take care